everybody and welcome to breeding part three and four. Today in the breeding part we are going to be talking about how how cool snake and putting the snakes actually together. First off, I've gotten some questions on how much like a gram scale um is and how much an incubator is. Well it all depends on what you guys want. There was like a gram scale for ten Ten, five ten bucks at the store, um, and an incubator. Well, my my gram scale was thirty dollars because it was one of the fancy kinds. But you don't need a fancy kind for snakes. Um, and an incubator costs forty to sixty dollars if you get a hovabator. Those are the best kind for corn's eggs. Um, the kinds with the fans I would not get because those cost more money and they overheat the tank. So yeah. So the first part of getting your snakes ready for breeding season is cooling them, also known as like the seasons. Now, as this book, it's you if you're gonna plan to breed corns, you have have to at least get a book. This book, it's taught me everything I know, other than the internet. But before you start, you're gonna need a pre-breeding condition. And corn snakes usually follow the seasons. If you were in my room, I say I don't cool my snakes, but I really do because the lamps go off and on in the night, usually in the winter they go off and the sun goes down. But when I move my snakes to the basement, I'm going to actually have to start putting the lights on a timer to um, make sure that they um, know that it's nighttime. Unless my dad's gonna put, unless my dad puts a window in, so they can see the light. And by the way, my dad is working on the cages right now. He told me I could go take a break, um, to film this video. So yeah, he knows I film videos and he knows my YouTube account, all that stuff. But anyway, so the pre-breeding condition, they they usually mate in spring in the egg laying during the late summer to early in the late spring to early summer and the eggs usually hatch over the summer. Um, so that's pretty much how it goes. They mate in the spring, um, they lay the eggs in late spring, early summer, and the eggs hatch in summer. It's, the corns are the, probably the easiest thing to breed. So the cool snake, all you pretty much have to do is when it gets dark, it'll they'll know it's dark because that's when they come out and they do all their things. You're also going to want to turn down the lamp and stuff. And in the winter, when you're trying to cool your breeding pair, um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to keep them together. I don't think so. Yeah, you're not supposed to. But when you're breeding them, let's say this is these and this is starches, you're going to want to close all the blinds when it's nighttime. Even it's nighttime, if, if it's nighttime, then it'll just be dark. And you're going to want to take your thermostat and turn it down or turn off so your light. Hopefully you have heat. Um you're going to want to turn that off so they know that it's winter and they should go into this hibernation thing. Now hibernation, um, they don't need much, just water them. If you really want to breed, don't bother them much. Um, I feed mine all the time. Some people just let them sit and do whatever for the next couple months, not even feed them because that's their breeding time. And some snakes won't even eat during this time so don't be worried if your snake gets off eating it's fine they usually pick up back eating um... and then once it gets towards spring you can uh... start uncovering your windows um... leave the lamps on longer uh... the sun will be coming uh... will stay up longer and they'll just know that it's spring and it'll get warmer um... but when at night time when it's winter it'll just get colder and colder so they know. Um, but anyway, you're going to need a lot of research on this. Uh, I didn't even know I was cooling my snakes until just a couple days ago that I knew. I was cooling my snakes because of the windows. And I turned my lights off at night. So that's all you re really need to do. And uh so you do probably need to cool i cool best idea you don't need to but it's the best idea and you'll have more chance of uh fertility breeding time 
So this is where the part actually kind of gets fun. You can watch all this stuff. Breeding. You usually will start putting your snakes together in, I would say, what did I say? Um, in the spring, probably around March, April. I usually put mine together in March. Um, that's a little bit early. I would put yours together in April, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so breeding time. You're going to need a lot of research on this too. The next couple topics I cover, you're going to need a ton of research. Um, breeding. Put your, this is the way I do it. I actually, Dee and uh, Starch used to always live with each other until I recently learned that if you keep snakes together all year round, the male will just start trying, will just keep trying to mate with them and stress them and they could get egg bound and all that stuff. So I decided to separate them, but I used to just keep them together all year. They'd see the seasons, they'd mate, and I'd have eggs instantly. But in the win, right after the cooling process, they'll know it's spring, put them together. This is the way I do it. Um, this is actually the way I'm going to do it this time. Put them together for 30 minutes over a three-day period. 30 minutes, take them out. 30 minutes, take them out. 30 minutes, take them out. And then I'm pretty sure you can just keep them in the cage until you start seeing the female get bigger and bigger. And if you don't, just keep leave the, the male in there until you see her getting bigger. The male and the female may go off feeding because of the mating. Um, usually it's the male. Starch has gone off feeding and so has D. Um, so the, bree the actual putting the, the snakes together um, will be you're going to need to put them together every day until they're actually getting used together. Rarely, uh, actually not rare, I've never seen my snakes mate, but I know they've mated because I actually have eggs. But usually when you put snakes in, most of the time they instantly mate. You can leave them in um, together in the cage for a while just in case they latch off early. You can just leave them in there until you start seeing the female get big. Then you can take the male out. I leave starch in the cage um, I don't know why, but I'm going to start taking him out. I'm starting to get a professional breeder thing. I'm starting to get into the real world, not the kiddish thing. Um, but that's pretty much it uh, for the breeding. Uh, the breeding takes a lot of work. Um, putting the snakes together, it's actually just putting the snakes together that we're covering in this video. So what I've said is what you're going to need to be able to put the snakes together. And once you put the snakes together and you start seeing your female get bigger, you can take your male out, and your male will be done for the year, unless you want to go take him and breed him with another female. He's fine, but the female can only be bred once, once. Get that in your brain, only once, okay? Unlike leopard geckos, leopard geckos can be bred tons of times. Female corn snakes can only handle it once, because sometimes they'll give you up to 30 eggs. They're pretty good. Um, so that's what we're going to, that's a, uh, it for uh, the two things we covered today it was how to cool a snake and putting the snakes together. Finally, I told you guys I'd get this video up. I might get another video up today, but uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time. Hopefully, all the next ones we're going to be co uh, be covering are before the eggs and the, how to set up the laying box. I have my laying box notes right over there. But anyway, uh, take lots of notes. Research even after you watch this video, and hope you have a successful breeding season. See you guys. Bye.